Beaker and we are celebrating two months with Beaker joining our home. So I thought that today I would kind of give you a little more background to his story and how he came into our life. So about a week after Ella's passing, we were still in between homes at this point, but I started looking at online ads and it wasn't that I really felt that I was ready to bring another burden to my family. I was still hurting so much over Ella's death, but at the same time, the thought of not having, hey buddy, what you doing? You're so cute. But at the same time, the thought of not having um, that presence in my life just broke my heart. So I just wasn't really serious when I was looking at these ads. We still had another week before we had possession of our new house, so it wasn't a great time to get a bird, but I was just kind of curious more than anything. And then I came across Beaker's ad, and he was a two-year-old paralette that was being rehomed because the family said they just didn't have time for him anymore. And I absolutely loved his coloring. He's beautiful blue. And he's the same breed as Ella. I, we absolutely love Paralettes because they're, they have a lot of attitude and they have a lot of spunk, but they're very small birds. So I come across this ad and I'm instantly in love. And of course it's not the right time. And when I spoke to, with my husband about it, he's like, we need to wait until you know, we're settled into our home. And I mean, it totally made sense. At the point I'm looking at this ad and I don't even have a house at the moment. I, we still had another week. So we moved into our home, we got ourselves unpacked and settled. And it's about three and a half weeks later, I think. And I happened to go back on to the online ads because things have calmed down a little bit at our new home. And Beaker's ad is still there, but his price has dropped significantly. So at this point, I spoke with my husband and he agreed that it was up to me when I felt ready. Now, he had also said that we could talk about getting two birds if they were already kind of bonded together, because just because our cage is so large for just um, one small bird, two would easily fit in here with plenty of space as well as you know he's out every day and everything too so we were looking at that as well but the only ones we could find that were in pairs um, would be if we purchased from a breeder and i really wanted to adopt i wanted to help a bird that was in need of a loving deserving home so i ended up contacting beaker's previous owners and they were very happy that they to hear from me i offered them the full amount that they were asking and they dropped him off. It was about a week later just with schedules. It wasn't really working. So we got him at the end of July and he is such a sweetheart. Aren't you Beaker? You're such a sweetie pie. I don't know how well you can see him, but he's just at the back of his cage. There's a toy that he absolutely loves to rub his little chicken neck on. Hey buddy. And he is in his cage because we're working on taming him, but he's still very nervous of hands and very skittish. So I didn't want to do anything that would really, really um, make him feel uncomfortable. So that's why I'm just filming with his cage here. So basically the entire story with Beaker was that the family had housed him with their budgies. I think she said they had three or four budgies and the budgies were picking on him. So when I got him, his wings were actually in really bad shape. They're all jagged. If you follow us on Instagram, you'll see his, a lot of his pictures. His wings just look chopped up because the budgies were picking on him. And they had separated him from the budgies, but they just didn't have time for two different sets of birds, I guess. So that's why they were rehoming him. He is perfectly healthy and happy. Now he isn't banded, which means he didn't come from a certified breeder in Canada. So I'm not sure where they got him from. Um, I do notice that his feet, his toes just seem longer than Ella's were, but they don't look like they're in a weird formation or anything. He's healthy and happy. His beak is a little longer than I would like, but we've got lots of fun things to keep him busy 
in the cage there, so I'm not too concerned about that. And you can get your vet to file them down if we found that it was becoming a problem. Otherwise, he's alert and bright and very happy boy. So we actually didn't ask what his name was because my husband wanted to name him Beaker. Beaker's actually in memory of Ella. So when he said that when Ella was saucing us, it sounded like Beaker from the Muppets. <laughs> and and um, that it was kind of like a me, 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 me sound. And so that's where Beaker came from. It was kind of a little nickname that my husband had called Ella a bit. And so when we decided to get a male bird, he asked if we could call him Beaker. And that way it was kind of in memory of Ella. And um, I just thought it was the perfect name for him. So that's how we came up with the name Beaker. So when he came to us, he was on a dollar store seed mix. So, so I'm not sure if he was fed fresh food or anything before that or pellets but I basically spent the first week getting him used to eating fresh foods and then slowly weaning him onto a better seed mix. And since then we've actually got him eating pellets as well, which is really, really exciting. So I've had a few people on Instagram actually mention to me that they've noticed a big change in his color and his photos. He looks a lot more blue now. And I, and I honestly think it's just because we've gotten him on such a good diet now. As well as that, he has been molting a bit, so slowly those really sad looking feathers are falling out and they're being replaced by beautiful feathers. So hopefully by the winter, he'll have really nice plumage. So here's a little closer look at Beaker. And you can see his feathers. You can see a few that are nicely rounded there and then see all the ones on the very back and on the top of his wings how ripped they look. That was because of the budgies picking on him, so that's the damage they did. Thankfully they didn't seriously hurt him, but his wings just look a little sad. But that's okay, they're gonna be nice and beautiful soon, aren't they buddy? And other than that, like I said, we're still working on taming. Ella wasn't tame at all when we got her and she was actually quite aggressive, so for me, um, you know, it can take a really long time with birds. His wings aren't clipped, nor do I plan to get his wings clipped. I know a lot of people think that's kind of the easy way to tame a bird, and that's your decision on whether you want to clip wings or not, but it's something I don't really agree with. I had Ella's wings clipped and it caused other issues with us, so um, we're trying it out just the natural, patient way, and I will keep you guys posted. Anyways, I hope that you like hearing a little more about Beaker as well as Beaker's kind of background and why we named him what we did. And thanks for watching. Bye.